My name is uh, Steve Carnegie with uh, Kuwait Tribal Council out of Thompson. I am in charge of O&M operations on 11 First Nations. The car crusher did go. Uh, we did have uh, the first one purchased uh, a year ago this time and it, it destination was uh, Oxford House, otherwise known as Bunawanigi Cree Nation. And it's there today and it's working well. Well, uh, what we've done, it's, it's been a kind of a trial and error. I mean, we went into it with uh, not knowing a lot of knowledge about it, but we had a lot of great people working around us and uh, with a lot of support and help from uh, people that do have the car crushing and programs. And we went and we obtained all the information we could and we uh, set up uh, the communities and the car crusher is going to be shared with three different communities. To my knowledge to date, uh, after uh, one summer of crushing cars, I believe we are looking at about 50 to 60 vehicles already ready for transportation on this winter road. Being with uh, Kuwait and Tribal Council for the last 20 years and traveling to back and forth to the communities and dealing with issues, uh, we see and we saw lots of necessary for cleanup in the community. In the communities there's many, many derelict vehicles and also the recycling program too. I mean it's all part of it. We did take the initiative, but now we want the responsibility to be put on the communities now to uh, take, with it, take it and run with it and make it work. And wherever we can help out, we're going to help. I feel good and I feel good about our program and I really want to see it succeed because I know uh, other communities are the same way and sometimes we have obstacles to get through on uh, winter road access only, but you know what, we are going to make it work.